A good education is the basis for any community that wants to grow and prosper, something Kingsburg is keenly aware of. We talked with school superintendent Grant Erickson. Uh, well, the uh, high school actually started in 1905. The first, uh, the formation of the elementary school district in Kingsburg dates to 1875, but it wasn't until 1905 that the high school district was formed. And actually, those that wanted to um, go on beyond elementary school um, and uh, receive the advantages of a secondary education in the early years had to attend Selma High School. 1910, when the Board of Trustees felt the need of uh, purchasing some land for the building of a high school, um, and this um, is the first 10 acres on the present site. Uh, the uh, main opposition came from people that felt that this was too far from the center of town. Uh, the high school now uh, has 54 acres, which is a, a mighty fine uh, site, and we have grown to about 675 students. We have a, a wonderful uh, bowl facility, which uh, was built primarily through funds uh, from the Lions Club and uh, through the efforts, actually, in terms of labor uh, on the part of the Lions. Um, which gives us a wonderful facility there. And then, of course, uh, having 54 acres of property, we do enjoy quite a nice uh, area mm. for our sports program. Uh, we have had a number of people that have come through the high school that have participated in the uh, sports program with distinction. Uh, perhaps the most uh, notable one is Rafer Johnson, who in 1960 won the uh, Olympic Decathlon Championship. Um, Clarence Treat, who was, uh, I think, in the class just preceding or just following Rafer, I can't remember which, uh, was quite a um, high hurdler. Uh, and, um, of course, Clarence perhaps is better known for his work uh, with the new Christie Minstrel. Mm -hmm.